So will Covenant Eyes fix your problem of internet temptation, pornography addiction? Well, this is Jason for Soul Fire. Here on this channel, we want to offer gospel hope for a porn-filled world. Let's jump right in. We're going to talk about if Covenant Eyes is the solution that you need to fix your problem. So the digital world offers all the temptation of the world, pornography for addictive behavior. And so Covenant Eyes offers monitoring and accountability and even some filtering to try to prevent you from going to the places online that you do not want to go. But will Covenant Eyes fix the underlying issues, the aches of the heart that are causing you to want to go to those places in the first place? Will Covenant Eyes fix your problem with internet temptation. Nope, nope it won't. In fact, if you think about it, that's really not what Covenant Eyes is designed to do. So I've been using Covenant Eyes and recommending it for over 15 years and full disclosure, I am a Covenant Eyes affiliate. If you wanna try Covenant Eyes for free for 30 days, you can use my affiliate link in the description of this video. But I'm here to tell you that Covenant Eyes is not the all-out solution for what drives us to want to do addictive behavior, what drives us to want to do the things, for myself, for example, as a Christian, the things I would say to God I would never want to do, the things I would say I wouldn't want to do to dishonor my wife, my children. Covenant Eyes can't actually solve the underlying heart issues that are leading me to do that. But let's think about what Covenant Eyes is for. Covenant Eyes is attempting to help me build some accountability in my life. So say my internet connected devices, my phone, tablet, my computer, those are the greatest sources of temptation for me to look at pornography and Covenant Eyes is gonna come alongside of me and be some accountability. So it's gonna email an accountability report to whichever partners that I choose. They'll see that report, they can see it daily, they can see it every week and it's gonna analyze through screenshots and through analyzing all the links that I have clicked on whether or not I've looked at something I shouldn't have looked at. So Covenant Eyes takes away the anonymity and the isolation on the internet. But is that gonna fix my heart? No, it's not. Covenant Eyes acts like what I talk about here on this channel, a defensive measure. Now when you're in a recovery program, you're trying to recover from an addiction, you've gotta build a good wall and a good defense to prevent you from going back toward that addictive behavior. This is what Covenant Eyes does. Covenant Eyes tries to give you the space that healing can occur. So when I talk about defensive solutions in recovery, one of the things I try to emphasize is that building defense, walls and barriers, will not solve your problem, but building a defense will give you the space that you need for the healing to occur. When I try to help somebody along the recovery journey from pornography addiction, there's three areas that I try to focus on. First is the journey of the heart. That's you beginning to understand what lies beneath the struggle. What is driving me to this addictive behavior? What wounds from my background? What, how has my story, my family of origin, how has that impacted where I find myself struggling with addiction? That's the journey of the heart. Defense is building walls to try to prevent yourself from going back to that addictive behavior. And then finally, we talk about offense. Offense is answering the question, what is my life about? What gets me out of bed in the morning? What do I wanna focus on? What has God called me to? Offense is a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Well, you see, Covenant Eyes only fits into one of those three. It doesn't help you on the journey of the heart, doesn't help you on building an offense, understanding what your life is about. It's a defensive measure. It's trying to give you the space for you to get to a place of freedom and not fall back into the addictive behavior that you were in. So do I recommend Covenant Eyes? Absolutely, I do. Like I said, I've been using it for over 15 years. I've been recommending it. I'm a part of their affiliate program. I absolutely recommend it. I think it's super helpful for people who are strugglers themselves, people who don't want to struggle, or people who want to have some accountability for their family. But it will not do what it's not made to do, and that's fix your heart. For that, you're going to need some like-minded friends to come alongside of you. you. There are certainly some books and some resources. Check out Jay Stringer's Unwanted book. Check out the War of the Soul study that I wrote. You can check that out on my website, warofthesoul.com. Find a small group, something like the Conquer series. I can post the review that I did to the Conquer series. That is an excellent church-based small group curriculum. So there's lots of resources that you can use to take the journey of the heart. There's lots of resources that you can use to build your offense and understand what my life is about. Covenant Eyes is going to fit nicely in that defensive position. It's going to help you along the journey to your recovery. But is Covenant Eyes a solution to your problem? No, it is not. Well, what do you think? Has Covenant Eyes helped you? Is that something you feel like you need in your life? Why or why not? Be sure to uh, put the answers down there in the comment section. This is Jason for Soulfire. If you found this video helpful, definitely hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Catch you in the next one.